getting to school got a little bit easier for Hillsborough County middle and high school students. Students can now let Hart take you there for free. Say hi to Sierra, Sharina, Cynthia. They currently attend um, Jefferson High School and they're seniors. So ladies, tell me, would you say that taking Hart for the first time can be a little bit intimidating? I think it's very intimidating if you don't know where you're going or your destination will be. Yeah, sometimes you can be very lost. It's very hard, but thankfully I had a friend that could help me. So join me and my new friends as we ride the bus and they'll give you some tips on how to ride hard safely and make your commute easier. Join us. Tell me, how do you plan your trips, you know, to get to school? I really just look at landmarks or buildings or just things that's familiar to me and it helps me a lot to get where I'm supposed to be going. Um, I use the bus app one bus away. Basically, I come to the, check the bus time, see what time to come, come to the bus stop like five minutes before the bus comes, wait there, then I get on wipe my car, show my ID for the month. Now, now I show my ID. And then I sit down and put my headphones in. And sometimes I go to sleep, sometimes I just listen to music or look around. I usually get her help. She usually texts me when she's around like certain areas where my bus stop is, or I just you know, go with my basic daily routine, just getting out there five minutes early so I won't get left. Riding heart can be easy. The first step is simple. Start by planning your trip. The best way to plan your route is to work backward from the time you need to get to school. That way, you'll never be late. You can plan your trip on our website. Go to www.goheart.org. Click on Maps and Schedules and bring up the Trip Planner and One Bus Away page. You can also call Heart Customer Service at 813 Two five four four two seven eight. For those of you with smartphones, don't forget to download One Bus Away Tampa so you can plan your next trip with real-time arrival information. That way, you'll know when your bus is arriving. Next step, find your bus stop and wait for your bus. Arrive at the bus stop at least five minutes early so you don't miss the bus. One in five bus stops has a shelter, so it's important to stand where the bus operator can see you at the bus stop. For your safety, don't stand too close to the street. If your trip requires a transfer, give yourself at least 10 minutes between transfers. Look for the route name and number on the bus front display. Make sure you are getting on the correct bus. If you have any questions about where the bus is going, ask the bus operator. Our buses have bike racks on the front. They're easy to use and can carry two bikes at a time. In just a few seconds, you can securely store your bike and ride in comfort. Simply squeeze the metal handle in the center of the rack and pull down. Place your front wheel in the tray, rotate the knobbed handle around to secure the front tire in the rack, and release the knobbed handle to allow the arm to clamp down on the front tire. Wait until the bus comes to a complete stop before lining up to climb on board. As a courtesy, make sure to wait for all the people to board off the bus before you board on. Watch your step as you get on the bus. It's really important to be safe around the buses. Next up is getting on board and riding the bus. As a heart rider, make sure to follow the rules of riding heart. Always remain behind the yellow line when riding the bus. Find a seat promptly and make room for new passengers. Place your book bag and other belongings on your lap instead of taking an extra seat. Please avoid sitting on the floor, steps, etc. and follow the direction of the driver. His or her job is to make sure you arrive safely. Safety is our first priority and too much noise is very distracting to the operator and can create a dangerous situation. You can listen to music or use your phone, but you need to use headphones. 
Remember to offer your seat to someone who needs it more, especially in wheelchair assigned areas. It's the respectful thing to do. Please behave in a safe, courteous manner at all times. No horseplay and inappropriate behaviors permitted, and please place trash in specified containers. I think it's very important given that the bus driver and Hart is going to give us free opportunity to ride the bus. They should take advantage of it, you know, respect that they are going to give us opportunity to get where we need to go. You should always behave on the bus. Um, make sure you know where you're going so you won't get on the wrong bus or get off at the wrong stop and be lost. So just know where you're going. That's really the key tip. Finally, getting off the bus. Each bus is equipped with automated announcements. These announce bus stops that connect with other bus routes. Not all bus stops are announced, therefore it is very important that you remain alert while riding the bus. It is your responsibility to get off the bus at your stop. If you are not sure where to get off, ask the bus operator as you get on the bus. If you know the stop you want, signal the driver about one block away before the stop by pulling the stop cord. When exiting the bus, please use the rear door to exit. By exiting at the rear door, people waiting to board on the bus can enter immediately. This allows the bus to move faster and keep schedule. Once you're off the bus, it's very important to never cross the street in front of the bus. Wait until the bus has pulled off so you can safely cross the street. As you see, it's easy to ride Hart to get to school and other activities. Hart is happy to provide you with a comfortable, safe and reliable way to travel to and from school. As a rider, you are held to the same standards of behavior that your school upholds.